Hey guys, John here. So in this video, I wanted to show what I like to call uh, backstops or backspacers or spacers. Um, this is the part I'm machining today. It's just a one inch, no, three quarter inch uh, aluminum rod. And I want to machine the entire face of it or the entire length of it just to scrape all that ugly off. Uh, and I need a way to reliably place it into the chuck at a depth that I can uh, do again and again and again. So here I have just a piece of aluminum bar, flat bar, that I've machined 2.54 inches uh, this way. Uh, the actual length is irrelevant. But, so I put it in here, lay it flat against the face, put my part in, hold it tight, wiggle it as I tighten it down, crank it, spacer falls out, and then I take the z-axis, the, the cutting tool, and I zero it against the face of this part. So now my z zero is at exactly the back side of that part. Uh, and it works excellent, so all, all z measurements are going to be in positive. I know that this part is 1.25 inches long, plus uh, tolerance. It's like 1.3 right now. So then I can do my cuts, and then I can finish with a part that's exactly 1.25 long. And I can machine one side, take it out, flip it over onto the spacer, machine the other side, and now I know the part's exact. Uh, the other one I wanted to show off is this guy. I made this uh, It's one of my first things that I made on my lathe, and then I went, on, went in later and touched it up on the CNC to get little round corners and stuff. Um, very simple. It started out as 1.5 inch uh, aluminum tube with a one inch hole. I machined this side to, I don't remember what dimension, but so that it just fits into the chuck, into the uh, inner recess of that chuck there. The part that I used to machine a lot is this guy. Very short, and aside from the outer face here, uh, every surface gets machined. And again, I need to reliably uh, place that into the chuck. And then I also created three little spacers here to vary the uh, depth that, to whatever I need it to be. So let's say I use the three spacers. Now nah, it's too many. Two spacers. Zero the Z or the tool on the face of that is Z zero. And then I can place my part in there. And the I turn the outside diameter of this down to just smaller than 1.5, which is this. Come on. Crank it down, it stays in while I machine, and there we have it. Two very, very useful tools for lathe work that I use all the time, uh, especially this guy. And it's just a piece of garbage, like, it, there's nothing fancy to it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my next video is going to be machining these into something useful. They are uh, motor couplers for a, a, this lathe conversion kit. So check the next one. Take care.